the three of swords in the reverse so there's they're saying there's some kind of heartbreak that they're carrying with them now it could be related to something that's happened between you perhaps something has happened or several things have happened that have caused you both pain um, and they're trying to heal this they're trying to release this for a fresh beginning it could also be that um there's pain that they've carried with them and they brought it into your connection and they're aware that it has had an impact you know even though it was from their past and nothing to do with you let's keep going eight of wands okay so some of you might actually be having communication with this person at this time or they're wanting to reach out but the thing is this um <clears throat> This communication, it's almost like uh, it's kind of been shrouded in fear or, or past pain here. And your person is fully aware, as I was saying, judgment. They understand they've got to completely release this and heal this to bring in fresh energy here. So if they're not communicating right now, I think it's because um, they don't want to repeat past cycles. They don't want to bring this past energy with them. And we do have the five of pentacles in reverse. So I can see that your person, you know, this is someone who, if you're separate from one another, they're feeling it and they're saying okay it's time to to close that gap it's time to reach out for some of you if it's possible or if you live close by yeah they could even be wanting to travel to see you we have the page of cups this is a messenger sometimes this page turns up with an apology as well i'm really getting for some of you that this person has taken something out on you that wasn't your fault so maybe there was an argument or maybe they pushed you away and um, now that they've calmed down they're acknowledging you know you didn't actually do anything wrong maybe um, um, they were projecting maybe someone else did them wrong in the past and they're scared or maybe they were having a bad day you know something like that we do have as i'm pausing here we have the empress on the back so taurus libra energy but this person's realizing you know actually no spirit's telling me it's not realizing they're aware and it's almost like they're remembering again that you are the empress to them you know they, they kind of need to treat you a little bit better we have the eight of cups yeah i feel there was some difficult dialogue or a difficult interaction or you even reached out and said something and they just ignored you they walked away they went within and what they've been doing while they've been on this almost hermit's journey is really thinking things over Okay, <clears throat> we have the three of wands in the reverse. Yes, there's there really is a need for a fresh new beginning. Leaving behind how things have been between the both of you, as I said, or a way of reacting, behaving, processing, thinking, maybe even a suspicion. I'm hearing suspicion. There's, it's time to leave that behind. My goodness, look what they're wanting to offer you. An ace of pentacles, which leads to the ten of cups here yes okay so this person wants to make up if you are speaking currently they want to suggest something or offer something to move this forward weirdly i'm really hearing very strongly picnic so for some of you you could get a message from your person saying should we go on a picnic if you you know she obviously live close by um i don't know maybe you went on a picnic maybe that means something for someone um, seven of wands you see this is what they've been doing keeping you at a distance even pushing you away now this person i love to point this out because when you realize this it makes such sense look at his shoes they're entirely different this is someone who is is not thinking clearly they really are having knee-jerk reactions this is someone who is exhausted they're kind of frantic they're on guard they're imagining things you know um suspicion that sort of thing where there's nothing to be suspicious of now this guy he needs to step back and have a sleep take a break and that's what your person has done and what they've realized is there's a need to come forward and say you know what i'm sorry i shouted at you when i shouldn't have or i blocked you or i pushed you away when it you know it wasn't your fault you didn't do anything something like that if all it's not going to be that something humongous happened for all of you it could be something small for others of you something happened in the past and you may have, have been in separation or not speaking at least not speaking too much for some time here so before we move on um to have a look at likely um action i want to see to get an idea what is this ace of pentacles now i know that this is you know could be wildly different for, for everybody but just to get some kind of idea maybe as to the, the level of intensity or seriousness or longevity behind this okay ace ooh, 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 okay 
we have the chariot. So whatever this is, they're very determined, very focused. For me, the chariot, you know, he's following the star, he's, he's trusting his intuition, but he's also, he's got the magician's wand. So he's very empowered, very focused. Um, this person might be saying there's a lot to do within this connection, or they've got a lot going on. Maybe, you know, I'm sure you have as well. But this person is saying, even so, they are focused. They're determined to manifest um, their dreams here into a reality with you. We have the queen of pentacles in reverse. So I wonder, for some of you, this could be something someone you've already been with in a relationship with married to in the past um for others of you it could be that you wanted a commitment with this person but they weren't open to that and now they're coming towards you you know you've been in a position here of taking care of yourself nurturing growing healing you know doing whatever really your focus was drawn to towards happy your own happiness and your self-improvement so now they're they're pursuing you they're very determined here we have cancer energy here Okay, anything else for this Ace of Pentacles? And actually, I want to have a sneaky look at this Page of Cups. What might they say? Okay, yeah. So this Ace of Pentacles, it's, I'm hearing, well, heralding a new, um, I'm hearing, doesn't make sense, heralding a new entity? I don't know what that means. If that resonates, take it. But but I kind of understand it's like it's the beginning of a new period, a beginning of a new time, um, one in which there's more balance, reciprocity, equal give and take. We have the scales of justice. So Libra energy again coming through. Um, let's have a look at this page of cups. We've got that six of swords in reverse. So yes, they're, they're making a return to you after having gone quiet or pulled away or actively pushed you away. Tell me about the ace of cups, please. Ooh, King of Cups. Okay, so when this person comes forward with a tiny message or something small saying, you know, um, how have you been? Or I'm sorry, or let's go on a picnic or whatever it is. There's a lot more, a lot more feeling here than they are showing. They're trying to keep themselves grounded, um, balanced. They don't want to freak you out. Maybe, you know, they had a hugely emotional reaction in the past, one that maybe was less favourable. So they're just trying to, to be you know, on an even kill here. Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this is someone who's really been very quiet, not acting, but thinking, and actually doing some good thinking here. And they've decided it's time to, to step forward and to try and, you know, see where you are with this and move things forward. We have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, and the Queen of Swords. They think you want some kind of commitment here, and that's what you have wanted with them. Now, maybe you're saying, yes, I do. And for some of you, you might be saying, whoa, you know, this is reasonably new. I'm, I'm more interested in seeing where this can go. But they're under the impression that um, there's a, a desire for something maybe traditional or some kind of commitment, and they were holding back or stalling or being a bit immature in the past. So you may have... Um, changed how you were interacting with them, pulled back, focused on yourself. So um, that's why they're showing that they are wanting to reach out. I think maybe you've done a lot of reaching out in the past. Okay, so let's have a look at... Let's do um, fears, first of all. What are their fears? Well, only for a few. Let's not linger on, on low vibrational energy, but we'll have a look at potential blockages and fears. Then we'll have a look at action they're likely to take and highest hopes here. Okay, so what's potentially blocking with this person, please? My viewers person. Wow, the cards are flying out for this. What are their fears? Ah, page of cups. So they fear reaching out. Um... I wonder if this is someone who has a lot of bravado, a fairly big ego, you know, they, um, I'm hearing save face, so they, they never want to really reveal how uh, vulnerable they feel. Oh, Spirit's telling me it's something about your energy as the Empress, whether you're a woman or man watching, you know, this Empress energy, you're absolutely incredible and you make them nervous. Maybe with other people, they wouldn't care. They'd reach out, the person responds or they don't respond, they respond quickly or it takes them days. They don't care. But with you, they really do care. So they're nervous about that. Oh, wow, look, see? We've got the Page of Cups, Two of Cups in reverse. They're worried that if they extend, you might now be in a Queen of Swords energy and you might say, I'm not interested. But remember, these are fears, not necessarily anything based in reality. We have the Page of Wands in reverse. Oh, wow, Ace of Coins in reverse. This person's biggest fear is that you will push back on everything they're offering you, that basically you don't want a new beginning. You won't want their offer. You won't reciprocate. You won't return their message. Three of Wands the moon pisces energy yeah so this person that basically worries that they'll put themselves out there and you'll kind of leave them hanging or you'll say no thank you um i you know don't take this as as them reading your energy or actions 
and interpreting that you might push them away if that's not correct. I feel it's a very natural fear. You know, they're getting ready to put themselves out there and they're kind of wondering, how is this going to go? You know, if you see someone you like the look of and you walk up to them to say hello, you're wondering, um, are they going to tell me to get lost or are we going to have a nice conversation? It's that kind of thing. Um, I feel for many of you, you might be saying, well, they should know by now. You know, I will obviously return the message, the call, that sort of thing. I will be interested in this Ace of Pentacles. Um, so that's why I feel it's not really a reflection of how you've been towards them. I think this person is nervous to reveal the, their truth. We do have a Seven of Swords in reverse on the back. So they're coming forward in a, in a completely honest, open, vulnerable, authentic energy. And I don't think this is something they do ever with anyone else. And I think they've been struggling to do this with you, even though they've wanted to. So it's almost like, how will you respond to their true self? That's kind of what they're thinking here. And did they mess you about really a bit too much in the process of getting here? Did they take too long? Okay, let's have a look at the action they might take. So we can already see the Page of Cups, Page of Wands, you know, making moves after a period of inactivity or of, of thinking. Okay, what action is this person likely to take towards my viewers, please? Over the coming week, we have the King of Pentacles with the Five of Cups in reverse. So they're coming around to being stable and committing to you or committing to this connection or committing to a more um, reliable kind of energy here. They have been down in the dumps. They have been mourning something, you know, regretting. But now they're pulling themselves up and saying, let me focus on, on you know, what's what's here the, the amazing connection we have with this two of cups let me not think about um the delays or you know the things that i wish hadn't have happened let me look forward we've got the ten of pentacles in reverse for some of you there's third party energy here and um there's something your person's got to address someone they've got to talk to you know um They've got to sort of set the record straight in some kind of way and maybe step away from a third party here. And it's like they're saying, OK, I've got to, I'm hearing own up to this. So I don't know if something's happened that they've got to sort of come clean about. Or maybe they've just got to own up to their feelings, to themselves and to this third party. Whoever, you know, whether it's a romantic third party, a parent or, or whatever. OK. So we've got King of Pentacles, Five of Cups reversed, um, Six of Coins reversed, Ten of Coins reversed. The page of swords in reverse we have the nine of wands six of swords getting to a place where this person feels like you're sort of your equal like they've got enough to bring whether it's you know stability emotional maturity finances it's been a, it's been a journey for this person it hasn't sort of been easy and i think they've been trying to keep this quiet because they always wanted you to think of them as being this king of pentacles even if they weren't or even if they didn't feel that way this is very interesting. We're almost seeing behind the scenes. Their action towards you, I feel, is going to be that message or trying to move this forward. Or maybe some of you even inviting you out somewhere, kind of tentatively trying to reappear in your life. When we're looking here specifically um, asking, you know, what is their action going to be rather than their thoughts and feelings? We're seeing, well, what I'm, I'm reading here is this person is stepping up and saying there's a situation in my 3D life that I've got to change it's hopeless it's not really as stable as it seems from the outside and it's getting in the way of your connection here so this is where their focus is this is where they're um, preparing to take action you know aside from the action towards you there's something it, this uh, energy here feels very heavy okay can we get another card please yeah look it's stuck whatever this is a marriage a family situation a job um where where they live something like that finances there's they need a big push to move forward um, and i feel with this king of pentacles they're stepping up and sort of taking ownership here clarify this knight of pentacles please what's going to be happening with this we have strength in reverse yeah so for a long time they've lacked courage they might still be trying to work up courage to move themselves out of this situation that they actually have invested quite a bit in i feel um even if they're still showing up every day and whatever this is they're no longer investing um any more than they have to here i think they fantasize your person fantasizes a lot about being free of this or releasing themselves from this but it it, it definitely seems like um it's a big challenge for them right now 
Okay, and I feel this is already something you're aware of. It's nothing that they're going to suddenly surprise you with. So let's have a look at their highest hopes. Okay. Oh, sexual union. It says, honour the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So this could be a very um, demonstrative person. They could be highly sexual. This could be someone who feels comfortable expressing emotions in an intimate way. You know, in every other aspect of life, they, they might be kind of a closed book. They might not be very sort of touchy-feely or tell you that they love you and that sort of thing. But once you get in the bedroom, that's kind of how they they feel good that's how they feel confident connecting with you so they could be fantasizing daydreaming about this if this is something you've already experienced together they're bringing back you know memories um, and it's not just in a sort of a lusty way a passionate way even though that's there you know definitely this is about um the um, <laughs> I was going to say two becoming one. So I'm hearing that Spice Girls song now, um, you know, two become one. But this is this is how this person really connects on a deep, deep level. OK. We have the part. Oh, wow, exactly. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. This is incredible. We had, um, what did we have? Three of swords in reverse, eight of wands, judgment. This is the person, you know, your person realizing there needs to be that fresh new energy. And that's literally what we're seeing here. And follow it with faith. That's the um, the chariot energy. Remember how I was saying he follows the star, he follows his intuition. So yes, that's exactly what this person is doing and they're very determined. Okay, anything else? Okay. Freedom, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. I don't think it's 100% clear for them yet. I think they're realizing what they need to do to make it so that it's completely clear and they've got to turn their attention towards this Ten of Pentacles situation that's not really, um, it's just not doing it for them anymore. It's uh, it's not somewhere they want to be. And externally, this could look great. It could look very um, successful, whatever this is. Other people might think it looks desirable but your person knows the truth you know about what's going on behind the scenes okay so this often um you guys ask what this deck is it's the victorian flower oracle the gift from paula okay so let's see highest hopes we have oh we have two here oh we have treachery and deception and we have sympathy I feel this person, they feel within themselves that they have re behaved in a way that hasn't been honest and open. I feel with you, they've been guarded, they've kind of kept back some of these feelings that they have, plus I'm sure other things. Um, with this energy, this third energy, whatever it is, if that does apply to your situation as well, I feel they might be saying they've got something to own up to. Um, it's something they are almost judging themselves for. It doesn't mean that other people looking on would judge them for it, but in some way your person is saying, what I did or how I behaved is not right, or it's time I, I need to confess something, you know, something like that. Okay, so what else are these highest hopes? I feel this person is asking, you know, for strength, for courage. If you, you know, if you're wanting to, when you're meditating, that sort of thing, if you want to send them healing energy, the energy of sort of um, strength and support, I think that would be very much appreciated by them. Only, you know, only if you want to. Um, but yeah, they've got to, to, we've got Leo energy here. I don't think I said an Aquarius. Um, but they've got to find their courage. And, you know, they want to, they really, really want to, they want to speak. It's almost like, let's say there's one person they've got to, to tell, this is no longer, you know, working for me, I'm leaving. It's almost like they keep building themselves up and they're saying, okay, tonight when I get home, and then they see the person and it's like their courage just sort of um, falls away or, you know, the whole evening they're sitting there and they're thinking, okay, now, I'll say it now. And, and they can't quite manage, but they really, really want to. Or if it's work, you know, they've written out their resignation letter, but every time they see their boss, they 
sort of delay and say, okay, now wasn't the time after the meeting or after this, after that. We have vanity. So this person's been doing a lot of self-reflection. Do you see how the woman in this card is looking down into the lake? So they've really been going deep. That to me links with that moon card, facing some fears here, asking themselves, how have I, how have I been showing up? How have I been behaving? And let me, you know, let me honestly ask myself, am I happy with, with what I've been doing? Am I happy with the life that I've created? I'm hearing also the people I have around me and we have a message. So I feel this is both a message to you and the message they've got to give to someone else. So your message is going to be really lovely, sweet, it's signalling a new beginning. The message to this other energy or person is going to be a difficult one of, of an ending. Okay, let's finish up with some Archangel messages before we do the one question, one card reading. Okay, so Archangel, what would you like to add please, this reading? And I felt specifically, let me try to remember, when I was getting into the energy of this reading, we had a few very specific Archangels who came forward. Archangel Raguel, Archangel Michael, um, oh my goodness, who else? I'm hearing now Archangel Metatron. Um, if anyone else comes to me, I will let you know. So maybe, you know, those are energies or Archangels you work with specifically. We have Beloved One. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Okay, so yes, maybe you are working closely with the Archangels. Um, if not, they're very much available here always. Um, this could also be a message for you saying that your person is gaining strength through, um, you know, their sort of spiritual team, even if they don't know it, even if they don't realise it, the divine is working very closely with them right now. And do you know why? It's because they are open and they are willing. Spirit wouldn't, you know, can never, will never force us into something because we have free will. So you have to be open to receiving signs, synchronicities, energy, inspiration. And now your person is, okay, so, if, you know, now um, they can receive this support. Now they're open to this. Okay, we have, yes, the angel therapy. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Absolutely. So again, a message for you if you're wanting to, but this is exactly what's happening with your person. And we have gifts from God. We angels bring you gifts from your creator, open your arms to receive. And for so long, your person hasn't been able to see or to receive this, but I do feel that they are now. Okay, I'm being drawn to the back of the deck. So let's see. Mm -hmm. We have divine order. Everything is, is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. And there's Archangel Raguel who came forward first. So um, again, Libra energy and the scales of justice. So things balancing out. Okay, so I think I will leave this here for today. I hope this was interesting or helpful and maybe answer some of your questions. If you're heading off now, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully see you again soon. Otherwise, I will pause and um, we'll do the one question, one card. Okay, so I have a fresh deck here ready to go. So thank you everybody for your questions. Today's winner is Jessica McLeod, who says, um, is it the right time for, so is it the right time for you and your boyfriend to start trying to have a baby? Okay, now, that's obviously a very big decision. So please only take this as, um, you know, use this to either clarify your thoughts and feelings so for example if it says a no and you're hugely disappointed I would say well maybe that's an indication that actually yes it is you know and and vice versa but but make this work with with you and for you um obviously you know I'm sure you will anyway but just uh, just to say that's because that's a massive you know life-changing thing obviously okay so spirit can you what message do you have for jessica can you please show us is now the right time for jessica and her boyfriend to start trying to have a baby okay these cards will not shuffle i wonder if there's some stubbornness somewhere in relation to this i did see the emperor um a moment ago oh, no. let's see oh this this feels really awful they just won't shuffle Okay, here we go. So, what is the message, please, for Jessica? Is now the right time for my boyfriend to start trying to do it? Let's see, okay. So we have the devil, we have the queen of pentacles in reverse. Do you know what? I, I feel this is a no, but the fact that the queen of pentacles is here, we know that this is an energy of like the sort of successful, um, 
you know, parent, successful business person. In the upright, to me, the Queen of Pentacles would be a yes. So I feel it's a no, not forever, literally just right now, because there's something that needs to be cleared or resolved first. I feel this is to do with the Emperor I saw. This is to do with that stuck energy of the cards not shuffling. So let me try and see what this is for you. So it's almost like clear something first or release something or heal something, and then it's a yes. But first spirit's saying there's, there's, there's this thing here. Let me see. I wonder if you will know what this is, because the devil's quite a strong energy. So you might already be aware of this. Yeah, see, balancing something out, healing something, here in case it helps you we have Sagittarius and Capricorn energy ten of cups yeah okay I'm not surprised to see that ace of swords I wonder is there a conversation to be had with your boyfriend or maybe a conversation you keep having that you kind of can't reach a, a decision or conclusion about or maybe it's something like I mean, this could be so many things, but um, one of the things could be one or both of you have um, wounds from your own sort of childhood that makes you afraid of moving forward to create a family or um, you have different ideas about what a happy family situation would look like, something like that. But I don't think it's it's something you can't resolve. And like, the devil can be a scary card. You know, it can seem that it's it's an energy we're never we're never going to move past. But I think with one good honest conversation you could really you know gain some clarity and some some movement here it could just be something that you're on slightly different pages about but you don't both realize um so yeah i think just just have this this conversation or make sure you get this clarity first and then move forward because we've got the ace of cups on the back which is a great um a great sign here um let me see how can jessica recognize please with the devil card what this is this is something that she's already aware of. I kind of feel it is. King of Wands, yeah, more fire energy, like the Emperor Aries energy. Um, something to do maybe with independence, um, someone wanting to really very vigorously pursue a particular goal and feeling like maybe it won't leave enough time for a family. So um, if, you know, if there's something like that, you maybe there's a need to have a conversation around um, childcare, something like that, how, you know, how this how your life and lives as they are are going to work with introducing um you know this this new element here um so yeah a conversation i think and then a yes because the queen of pentacles as i said would, would be a yes ordinarily for me on her own but it's like um something here needs resolving first and i don't think it has to take forever and ever you know one two really good conversations Okay, so I will leave this here. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care and hopefully see you again soon. Bye.